Hi, I'm Summer, and I'd love to go on a little walk through the woods with you and share with you um, a personal story about how holotropic breathwork has shifted things for me on a very fundamental level. After watching the video that um, Cynthia, Andrea, and myself made last week, it really stirred up a lot of gratitude and a lot of remembering of how deeply um, and how deeply profound and important this work has been on my own personal journey. So this goes back about 16 years, and I'm just going to look up and down a little bit because I'm walking barefoot through the forest. Um, so on my very first holotropic breathwork session in Bahrain, um, I was under the care of Cynthia and I met Andrea for the first time at this workshop. Um, just as soon as we started, I started to feel the symptoms of what they call tetany, um, which is a tightening up of your mouth and hands and feet because of high levels of oxygen getting to your bloodstream. And, you know, we were told this might happen. And as it started to happen, I felt like, okay, something is moving, something's happening for me. Um, and so as I fell deeper and deeper into the surrender to that state, images started to come. And the very first image that came was of a giant hallway in what was unmistakably ancient Egypt. And I was there, I could feel people on either side of me, I could feel my hands bound, I could feel myself walking down this hallway. And it was unmistakable that I was in the role of a slave, um, of a person that had to dance to entertain. And I just felt the incredible grief of being separated from my tribe, from my people, the what felt like humiliation, having to um, use my own body to entertain others. It was a very, very striking and potent memory. Now, I've had too many experiences like this to discount past lives. And, you know, you can take it as a literal past life, you can take it as symbolic. To me, it doesn't really matter. It's the beauty in the story and the metaphor that's the most important thing. So what ended up happening was over the last 16 years, this motif, this life has appeared again and again and again. And each time there's more information about who was there with me, what the conditions were, and most importantly, how it was influencing and impacting who I am now. Um, how it played into anxieties I have experienced as this person. How it played into limitations and fears and physical traumas I've had in this lifetime. And most recently, or almost most recently, about six months ago, I was at a Koya retreat and during one of the exercises, I got a very, very, very clear um, entrance into a state where I could bury that self, where I could give her her last rites as per her people and put her to rest after so many years of carrying the angst and fear of that part of myself. That was huge for me. And what preceded that, probably a year ago, was a memory as I was driving to teach a class of being about four or five years old and dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing and just spinning and just loving the feeling of being in my body. And I got so clearly in that memory that I came back here this time to be in my body as a space to heal, to dance as a space to heal, not as a slave, not as a form of torture, not as a form of hurt. And that was one of the most powerful realizations I've ever had, is this idea that we can come back and take what caused so much pain and use it as a vehicle for so much healing, for so much love. And I really trace all that back to the doorway that holotropic breathwork opened for me that day. I trace it back to what Cynthia and Andrea refer to as the inner healer, the part of me that knew it was ready to see that, and then what shifts and waves that set off in my psyche over the last decade and a half. So it's a very personal story, it's a very deep story, and there's a lot of love and a lot of heart behind it, and my motivation in sharing this with you um, is to just give a little bit of myself and also the potential that these doorways into the inner world have. Um, this is a rare opportunity to do this work with two women that are just so 
ethical and clear and clean and I just know that there's so many of you in my professional community and my friendships and the world that would connect with this and I just wanted you to have my words on it to have my experience with it I'm personally so looking forward to diving back in again um, if you feel called to this at all just send me an email if not thank you for listening have a beautiful day and sending you so much love